So hi everyone, we're here at the Razer booth at Gamescom 2014. With me is Jan from uh, Razer and we'll take a look at uh, the new products that we can expect uh, this year. So uh, what can people expect? We see a keyboard, we see a headset and we see a mouse. So what can you tell us? Um, that's basically the new Chroma line. Um, as you know, we already have those products. That's the Black Widow Ultimate keyboard, um, the Kraken 7.1 headset and the Death Adder. We are currently uh, upgrading those products to Chroma, which means to multicolor RGB. Um, as you can see uh, with the keyboard, uh, we already had this uh, with the Razer switches. Now we're upgrading it, which means they will all get um, customizable RGB backlighting. As you can see, you, we have uh, a lot of customization options like waving in the full color spectrum. You can set it in the driver to, for example, as you can see here, only to light the keys you are pressing. We will also have presets for different games, like for League of Legends, we will have presets that just the keys you are using in-game are illuminated. Plus, we will have an SDK for game developers to integrate Chroma in their games, which means in Counter-Strike, for example, if they integrate it, you could just, for example, in-game, if you get flashed by a flashbang, you could set Chroma to illuminate all white, for example. Or in StarCraft, when your base gets attacked, that you get alarmed by your escape button pulsating in red, for example. That's what we can do. So we, we've seen similar technology from you guys with uh, the Spectre line, like the StarCraft 2 line, and, and that keyboard, where you uh, highlighted uh, like the action, actions per minute, etc. Only this one goes much further with the, the different kinds of presets and the things you can, exactly. you can do. It, it has two functions, basically. First of all, customization. You can set up the keys just as you like, which, what you usually can't do when you have an illuminated keyboard. So you can set escape to red, enter to green, whatever. Second of all, you get feedback. Like, you get feedback by what, hap what happens in the game. If the game supports Chroma, what we, ho we hope it will, because we're offering an SDK for this, um, you get feedback in-game by color. That's very good. And how far? Because the, the SDK, of course, that depends on the developers, on how far they are willing to go. But when it comes to customization, um, how far can the user go? Can they put in scripts? Um, like, for example, choose to highlight only one line, or so they can go crazy. Button can be set for a different color, just as you like, in the driver. You can also, if you have the Black Widow, for example, and the Death Adder, and you have the driver installed, you can set it up to, for example, if you want the Black Widow to pulse in blue, you can also synchronize it with the Death Adder to pulse in blue at the same time, for example. Yeah, so you can synchronize your products. Cool. Um, so I guess that the keyboard is the, the thing you can do the most with. But I'm going to ask, how far can you go, for example, with the lights on the headset and, and the microphone? Uh, what can people do with this? Basically the same as with the mouse. So you can synchronize it with other products, other Chroma products you have. And it's either constant illumination or pulsating or the full uh, color spectrum, as you can see here, it slowly changes colors. So those three options you have, yeah. And that goes the same for the Razer. So you still have the, the light at the back with the logo and the light on the scroll wheel, exactly. right? Yeah. Cool. And uh, overall, when it comes to specifications, these are exactly the same products that we have on the market right now, but then added with the, the Chroma function. We, uh, are, we are working on an upgrade uh, for the Death Adder, but I don't have the details right now, but yeah. So when can we expect um, more information? Will it be at CES in the beginning of next year? Is that realistic? Yeah. This year, this year. For the Chroma line this year. Um, Black Widow, the first one will be available in retail in September, so pretty soon. And the other two will follow. And we will constantly upgrade following products within the next two years with Chroma. So they will all be Chroma enabled. Okay, so, so the idea is that the complete Razer line will be supporting Chroma? That's the plan. I can't really say if it's 100% of the products, but the plan is to have, to give you the chance to synchronize all your products with Chroma, yeah, just as you like. Yeah. Perfect. So these products that people can see right now should be available by Christmas. You can say. That. Yeah, it should be realistic. And uh, the others soon, but yeah, Christmas is realistic. Now one final question, the most important one: What will happen to the price? Um, not that much. For the Kraken uh, 7.1 and the Death Adder, the price will just stay the same. And for the Black Widow, because it's, in the case of keyboard, it's more complicated to integrate the multicolor RGBs, the price will go up from uh, $139.99 to $179.99. Okay, perfect. And then you can do more with it than with the headsets. It's, it's more than just pulsating. Uh, so, okay, cool.